I'm Jesse Pendis, a.k.a. The Court Jester, and you're watching Wreck TV! Okay, here we go. Season 2, the season premiere with Batman number 10. Okay, so I've read a lot of spoiler-free uh, reviews of this comic. Uh, mostly positive. And I have to say, I found this issue <clears throat> just a, a little overrated from what I read. Batman tracks down Lincoln March, who, when we last left off, was dead, but was really about as dead as Superman in the 90s. It turns out that Lincoln March was never really Lincoln March. See, Lincoln March never really existed at all, and was actually just an alias for Thomas Wayne Jr. Dun dun dun! And even if uh, this villain is actually not who he says he is, Thomas Wayne Jr., the, the backup story uh, seems to suggest that, that, he's, that he's telling the truth, or that if nothing else, that there is some all-lost or dead Wayne brother. Uh, and no, it's not Sean or Marlin or Damon or Keenan Ivory or any of those Wayne brothers. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm just not sure how I feel about this. It certainly makes the Wayne seem like pretty horrible parents. You know, every, I think every reader knows that, uh, that Bruce is, is fucked up, but only, uh, only because he lost his parents at such an early age. So neither neither of his parents nor Alfred ever told Bruce that he had a brother. Anyway, I'm I'm not at all torn about the uh, art in this issue. Uh, it's it's really good. It has a nice uh, dark, creepy feel throughout, which emphasizes that it's uh, not a Silver Age story, and it really works great for Batman. And I I do look forward to the the next issue for curiosity, if nothing else. Who knows, maybe this Thomas Wayne Jr. will become an accepted to the readers member of the Bat family. Only time will tell, and it's too soon to judge, but for now, all we as readers can do is enjoy the ride, even though we may be pissed off next month.